Hey guys, it's Danielle. Um, I haven't updated in a couple weeks, mostly because I almost feel a little like embarrassed or I don't know. Since Easter, I haven't lost any weight. Um, I seem to kind of be losing and gaining the same three or four pounds and it's frustrating and I've been a little discouraged so I haven't really made a video because of it. Um, I really don't have all that much to say. Uh, I know I end up making 20 minute long videos because when, and I always started out that way. Um, my eating has not been the greatest since Easter. Um, I actually did so good for Easter. I didn't, you know, cheat or anything. I was sensible and I don't know, I find that at lunch and coworkers are munching on chips and I'll have a couple chips or it's discouraging to find out that these things that used to hurt me to eat two months ago or three months ago when I would first try, you know, chips and it hurt so I didn't eat them. It doesn't bother me now. Uh, I actually had, you know, half of an egg salad sandwich and the bread didn't bother me. These are things that I, I almost wish I hadn't found them out about, you know, like had it to find out that I, I'm, I'm okay with it. It makes things a little bit more hard to, to stick to. Um, but I guess that's part of the process. I need to overcome these things and deal with my food issues. I didn't, uh, maybe all of us were in the position where we didn't really feel as though we had food issues. And at some point you have to stop and realize, yeah, I, I had issues with food. Um, I have had a lot of non-scale victories, however, in the last couple weeks. Uh, one night, I, I I always take a bathrobe with me into into the, when I ta ugh, when I shower, um, and I forgot it one night, and so I grabbed one of the towels and I was drying off and trying to figure out all right how do I get from the bathroom to my bedroom without you know mooning everybody in my house. Um, so for hahas, I just kind of wrapped up in the regular size bath towel and it went all the way around my body and you know I could tuck it in and. That was a huge moment for me because I don't remember a time in my life where I've ever been able to do that. You know, as a child, but teenager, maybe preteen, I, I couldn't tell you when the last time I was able to do that. Um, something that was exciting that happened is Elise finally came home and it was so great to see her and her reactions to being home and I missed her so much. And we all, all four of us went out to breakfast the other morning and had a great time and I've missed her and I'm so glad that she's home. It feels like things are back to normal kind of because you know she left like three weeks after my surgery and so she missed a lot of that stuff and I missed having her there for a lot of it. Uh, I am firmly in 14s at the moment so I started out pretty much in 22s. I had 20s and 22s in my closet. I'm firmly in 14s. I'm bought my first pair of skinny jeans from American Eagle and they were expensive. I can't believe I spent $40 on a pair of jeans that I'm not going to be wearing for long, hopefully, knocking on wood. But it was the first time I had put on a pair of 14s that fit and it was the first time I had looked at myself in skinny jeans and was like, oh my gosh, these look good. So I bought them. Uh, and Jessica, Jessica was with me for that night. Um, I started a new semester. I'm really excited for that. Um, one of the classes, a critical thinking and writing class, which has been a lot more fun than I thought it would be. Originally, um, I signed up for it the previous semester but dropped it um, because I was just too overwhelmed with everything going on with the surgery and work and it was just too much so I dropped it. Um, but I'm really enjoying it right now. And then the other one is the English literature class, which is right now we're watching this stupid movie Gulliver's Travels and I don't know how I'm going to finish the rest of it. It's a long movie and it's really boring. I could see kids liking it, but I'm obviously not a child. Um, so class is going well. I like that. I'm trying to stay away from carbs and trying to get in my fluids. I find that the struggles haven't really changed much with fluids. It seems like I do really well for a week and then I have a bad couple days and I spend the rest of the following week like trying to catch up and make up for it. and just a lot of back and forth with fluids, but it's better now, obviously, than it was at first. Um, I'm starting to make my Vegas plans for 2013. 
I don't even know when the convention will be. I just know that I'm, it sounds like they have one every year. So I'm gunning for 2013 and hoping that a lot of you guys who, whose videos I watch that are going this year, I'm hoping that you guys will be there next year because I'm dying to meet a lot of you. Uh, so that would be a lot of fun and exciting. Um, you know something else I'm kind of discouraged about? We are considered a weight loss surgery success if we've lost 50% of our excess body weight. I've done that. Uh, and then a little extra, like 10 pounds over losing that. So I have technically lost, I guess it's like 60% of my excess weight. Which is great, and I'm excited and I'm thrilled, but the thought of being a considered a success at just this point is very discouraging, especially when you stop and think about the fact that it's been two or a half, three weeks since I've really lost any weight. And I blew through the 230s so quickly. Like it was, I feel like I blinked and I was out of them. Uh, so I don't, I, I mean, of course I'm happy and I'm satisfied with where I'm at. I'm so much more healthy. I can do so much more things and shop places and, you know, it's, it's a miracle for me. But the thought of not going further, like, it's really scary. I don't want to get stuck here. You know, I, I want to keep going. I don't know. I need to get back to basics, I guess. I can't believe I'm saying this. Like, I really, really, really want to reach the 100-pound mark by six months, which is going to be June 5th would be my six months. And that's like a little on, it's like 17 pounds I'd have to lose in the next month. And I don't know. I just, especially with the way things are going right now, I don't know if I see that happening or not. But we'll see, you know, who knows. I'm excited for summer and there's, um, I don't have a pool where I live, but about five minutes from my house, there's a campground that you can pay, you know, like a couple bucks to get into for the day. And so I'm really looking forward to being able to go there and swim after work um, as my exercise because I like being outside and I think it would be good and, you know, maybe my body won't ache as much and I'll get a little color at the same time and I keep saying I'm going to start garden, a garden too and that's all. I, I, nobody who's never ever done a garden before, let me tell you, getting a garden ready and planted is the workout of your life. It's insane especially where I live because right now because it would be all virgin ground that I'd have to dig up and till and I don't have any of those big powerful electric tools I would be doing it all by hand and then of course you know there's upkeep involved with a garden but I don't know we'll see what I do I don't know that's really it again you know maybe it, I'm just gonna call it another stall because there's no way I'm still consuming enough to stay at the status quo. At some point, my body's going to kick in and, and start to, to lose again. Uh, you know, it was a really bad discovery was that Ben and Jerry's Greek yogurt. I bought two, two weeks ago. I mean, I still have like half of each one, but every night, like a spoonful or two, or th no more, never any more than three two spoonfuls, but I don't know, all these things... Life is tempting. I need to find a better outlet for things. I don't know how to find that. Any suggestions? I'm, I'm open. I feel like I'm bearing my soul. Um, congratulations to a friend of mine. I'm not going to name her name, but she had uh, her surgery on Friday. Today's Tuesday, so Friday she had her surgery, and she's doing great so far from what I'm hearing from her. Uh, so congratulations to her. I'm happy for you. Um, that's it. I'm going to say goodbye before I keep rambling with nothing really to say. So everybody have a good week. Um, be alive and joyful. I'm trying. I don't really feel so joyful right now. But it'll happen. So everybody have a great week. Bye.